All right, it's that time of the week where you got this thing coming at you right there. You know, peek over. <laughs> Anyways, let's get that title card out of the way there. And let's get right into the thick things you're here to find out what's going on in the next seven days of concerts in the Valley of the Sun. So you know where to catch music, watch some live bands, catch some local guys, some touring guys, both, give them money. Well, at least give the guys that are smaller some money, help them out, and just have fun, especially since a lot of us got a three-day weekend. That's why behind me you can actually see more light in here. Also, you can see the moving box. Next week I'm moving to Tempe, so I'm actually going to be recording this a little earlier and posting it next Thursday, I think is my current plan. So I might be wearing the same shirt, but I'm not wearing the same shirt on that Thursday. At least I could. No. Anyways, we'll figure that out. Also, my, my wardrobe. But let's go right into the thick of things. You know, the shows, the music, the stuff you want to go catch. Starting tonight, you're going to find me over the Time Out Lounge. There's Russian girlfriends over there with Wax Castle and Bad Funk. But right across Kitty Corner, there's a band from Brazil. Uh, they're called, what is it, End of Pipe. They're here playing with Despero, Signal Man, Becoming Legends, and their Early Grabs. Two awesome bands, Becoming Legends, this is like their, what, third show? Well, I'm sure uh, James will tell me otherwise, but it's one that's pretty recent, and not that many have been played so far that I can think of. Plus the early grabs, I haven't been, they've been playing a little more lately, but they don't play that often, so that's also true over there, Yucca. We also at the Valley Bar, there's Susto with Cat Clyde and Saddles. We got Breakbot with Trilltone over the Crescent Ballroom. And let's see, Trunk Space too, in the all in the Phoenix area here in downtown Phoenix. We've got Vanessa Silverman, The Love Dimension, Harrison Huffman, and Andy Warpigs. And last but not least, over at the Rogue Barn, you can also find the Scorched, Dirty Sunset, Angels and Aliens, and Ghost Cat Attack. So there's already a bunch of stuff just to kick off your Easter weekend. Whether you actually celebrate the holiday or not, it's up to you. Anyways, moving on to Friday. Bunch of stuff. This one's actually... I haven't even decided yet, and that's tomorrow where I'm going to end up. This first one I kind of leaning toward, but it's still not. Well, I'll tell you what it is. You decide for yourself. I'll have to decide for myself, too. We got Father Figures doing their release show. That includes one of the guys from JFA. JFA excuse me, JFA. He, that's his new, new band. They're playing with French girls, and I guess it looks like some DJs. Promised to be done by 11. So if you do go up there, you could always end up at one of these other shows catching the headliners, too. Which, speaking of awesome headliners, the guys in Oakley Doakley are back. They've been out on tour nationally. Congrats to them with, uh, was it, Max Sabbath. So they were having fun on the road, seeing the world, seeing other Neds and sometimes mods. They're out there over at the Rock Bar. They're with Ella K, Ella K, Lost in Lies, um, Prepare the Gallows, and Her Name Echoes. So that's over at the Rock Bar. Jumping over the Time Out Lounge, we've got... Flash and the Furious Five with Welcome to the Midwest and the good old Joel Band. Then uh, back over there in Scottsdale, let's see, we got Jason DeVore doing an acoustic show over at Laguna, Lagunitas Live. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And really cool jumping, I, I got to organize these by town or city at some point, I think. But jumping over to Phoenix, we've got Mason Release Show with Harper and the Moths and the Lusome Wilderness at Last Exit. Plus, Black Irish, Texas, Grave Danger. I really do. Grave Danger is awesome. If you haven't seen them, you should go check this show out. But they're over there. With, and the Eulogy Project at the Yucca Tap Room in Tempe. Then we move on to a really busy Saturday. And this includes stuff starting in the afternoon. Even. The big one, at least I think the big one for a lot of people, we've got Brewfest with Offspring, Pennywise, All That Remains of Treyu. Hell or High Water and Through Fire over at the Fear Farm. That one, if you get there early and you're over 21, free beer samplings, I believe it is, until 4.30. Plus, then, if you're like me and don't actually care about most of that lineup, that'll hopefully get you to mostly to 7 when you'll see Pennywise and then Offspring. But that's not the only thing. There's also Ballapalooza 2017, which, per its name, is actually a benefit show for the Testicular Cancer Awareness Foundation. And that has Captain Squeegee, Harper and the Moths, Painting Fences, Sink or Swim Band, Sunset Voodoo, Divided Minds, and more over at Focal. So, there's that. Then there's this awesome band you haven't heard me mention on here. I've seen them once, but they're really just 
entertaining. Really entertaining, funny. You should just... All right, the name I'll get you immediately. We have the Cult of the Yellow Sign. They're doing a release show over at 51 West with 20-foot Neon Jesus. <laughs> I guess most of these names are actually pretty good. Uh, Nerd Zerker and Snailmate. That, <laughs> again, awesome stuff. So even if you can't even afford to go out to Spear Farm, there's that. Plus, we got Mr. Mud and Mr. Gold with Hank Topless and Caught in the Act over at Outer Space in Phoenix. Venue I actually haven't even been to, but it says it's here in Phoenix, so in downtown Phoenix, so go check that out. Uh, also, at the Yucca Tap Room, we got Los Hell Gamblers, Dead at Midnight, The Freak Billies, and Grimrose. So, I got some Rockabilly over there, but that's not even it. We've got Trunk Space. There is Sun Conscious with Ramsey the Second, Ancient Egypt, which I guess that works perfectly right next to each other, and Soma. So, that's really good. Plus, if you know the man who puts together some of our awesome shows around the valley, including a lot of the Chandler stuff. JT's doing a birthday bash over at the Harp with Johnny Lee, Josh Williams, Jimmy Roca, and more. So go over there, wish him a happy birthday, catch some awesome live music while you're all doing all that. And still two more on this Saturday. We got Whisker Man with Field Trip and Blood Feud Family Singers at Last Exit, which if you haven't read the latest from the show with Larry's Flask and Flatfoot, Blood Feud Family Singers are awesome. They played that night, played a great set. You should go check that out. And, oh, finally, over the Lost Sleep, we have the Coconuts and Elephant Gun. So, <laughs> you got choices for Saturday. And if you're not doing anything on Sunday, it's even better, because you can stay out and just do two or three of these. You know. Anyways, still a story, a ton of stuff here. We've got Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Let's see. we got a house show over somewhere in Mesa. So hit up one of these bands if it sounds interesting. we got Orn Guilty, Frontside, Penalty Box, Try Hard with the Crows, and give blood. And then we also have Simple Malfunction, Brian Cooper's Ghost, Combust, Combust, there we go. And Less Saints over the Yucca Tap Room. Plus, over at the Crescent Ballroom, they're doing the Free in the Lounge, where Cassidy Hilgers you know, from uh, Sister Love and a couple others now. I think Field Trip she's been playing with, if I have that right. Well, her and Brendan McBride are playing over there in, uh, in Free. So you can get some tacos, get one of those awesome burritos, the carne asada one I recommend. And go check that out. Then Monday, I actually didn't really find anything, so you can get a reprieve after a busy weekend, busy three days. And then moving on Tuesday, we've got House of Stairs at the Lost Leaf, and not too much else. Wednesday, Jim Heath. Well, they're billing it as Reverend Horton Heath solo, but that's Jim Heath, I can only presume. With Dale Watson over the Rhythm Room. Jim Heath's one of the most amazing guitarists I've watched live multiple times. Love it. And so if you have the time, go check that out. Plus, over the Yucca Tap Room, we got Scattered Guts, Warhead, Woundvac, and Intent. And uh, let's see what else. Marquee Theater, Coed and Cambria, they're back. And they're playing with Deer Hunter over there at the Marquee. Plus, Andy Warpigs, which we've heard his name plenty of times on these calendars and over in the write-ups. They, he's got his release over the trunk space. It says details coming, so I don't know who else is there supporting him, but definitely going to be fun night over on a Wednesday. Get that hump day out. And then finally, Thursday, 420, you know, the big day that a lot of people just identify with the number that it relates to and what that means. That has Dream Car. That's members of No Doubt and Davey Havoc of uh, AFI. It's a new wave band, actually. And they're playing with Dear Boy over the Crescent. We've got Extra Crispy doing their album release right like two minutes from there. So you can jump between them if you're going to both. They're doing their release show over at the Pueblo. And that's with Toso and Bert. Plus, we got Chalmer Green and Wives and Ghetto Cowgirl over at Last Exit Live that night. And finally, from the 420 at the Rat's Ass, which, as you know, hit up the bands. They'll deem whether you should be able to get there or not. And that's Absurd Tones, MOV, Screw Tape, Heavy Breather, which, <laughs> that's an experience. OP, it was OPU, OPU, and That's Why I Have Junkies, the awesome punk show right there. So that will round out your seven days, technically eight days of music. I will hopefully see you at a show. I am moving, as you see. Was it over this part? There. And then I get the boxes or stuff. So you will, I probably won't be out as much next week, but that's for a good reason. I'm moving to Tempe. I'm going to be closer to a lot of this stuff. So that'll cut down my travel times and make other things just easier. But no matter what, you can always keep up with me 
on the Instagram, on the Facebook, on the Twitter, on the Snapchat, on the Tumblr, as every show Joe. So be sure to add me on there, follow me, comment if you want. And if you see me on a show, come up and say hi. Also, if you like what you see, what, you, what I'm doing here, and you want to support it, uh, I have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash every show Joe. You can give me just even a dollar a month. That goes, that just helps. That's for my concert thing. I'm also trying to finally get a real camera, even though most people seem to like what I do with the phone. So you can always go over there, help me out. Five dollars gets you an entry in the raffle for this month, which I still need to determine. I believe I'm going to be giving out a Playboy Man Baby CD, and then I'm not sure what else. So stay tuned on that one. And that is it. So hopefully I'll see you at a show, and have a good week of music.